and welcome to Goa 365's analysis of the budget session that is ending on Friday. Now, we've had lots of issues, not enough probably, the budget happened and then so many issues came up and lot and the opposition has tried to keep, even though the numbers are very few, has tried to put the the government on the mat. I don't know how they succeeded, how much they succeeded. So let's, uh, let without uh, wasting any time, let me uh, introduce our panel. Who they can tell you what exactly happened in, in, in the assembly in the past few days. Uh, starting with TMC's Trajan De Mello. welcome to our show. Thank you. Pratima Kutino of AAP. Pratima ma'am, welcome to our show. Thank you. Our journalist, Vincent Ruzari, who has been covering uh, the assembly for the past few days. Vincent Bab, welcome. And last but not the least, Advocate Siddharth Saman from Civic Society to give us a perspective of what the people generally say. Siddharth Bab, welcome to our show. Tayan Bab, we start with you. What do you feel? You've been a seasoned, you've seen many, many assemblies. You're a seasoned, uh, not only observer, politician whatever you name it and now first of all before I go into I would like to congratulate you you become the national spokesman of the TNC congratulations thank you we are all waiting for a party thanks you when <laughs> okay <laughs> please see it has been well known that the Bajab washing machine party is famous for its jumlas it started at the time in 2014. It continues in the form of budgets. It's very clear that 60% of the last budget is not operative. Now these are not my figures, correct? Now when 60% of the previous budget could not be implemented, could not be put into effect, what meaning does this budget have? Absolutely another Jumla thrown before the people of Goa. Where is the money coming from? He's proposing something like 800 crores will come from mining. His mining going to begin except that the auction may take place, that's all. Last time he proposed something like 500 crores. Where is the money? You are projecting figures that you will receive. Now the GST is going to be cancelled. Now where is the money <coughs> coming from? So this is nothing but to fool the people of Goa. For the first time, if you see the tourism industry and the industries industry have very sarcastically expressed the unhappiness on this budget. First time, normally it is the industries and the tag always tags with the government. But when you see the press notes today, they are very clear that they are absolutely expressed the unhappiness over the scenario. The biggest unhappiness, according to and the biggest foolery this Bazap washing machine party is doing is just giving figures and not doing it. And it is on record that 60% of the last budget has not been come into effect. Yes. So, so what is the party? They are they are only succeeding in lies, 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 and then say we will do it next year. So how long are you going to fool the people of Goa? At last, I am telling you. See the price rises that have gone up here. And you are fooling even the women folk here. The gas cylinder you had promised three, nothing. Now he is promising Lali Lakshmi. Where is the money? From where are you getting that money? And the department is waiting for budget approval. There is no budget also. And he is just telling that he will be doing it. He did it for the elections. See, three cylinders will be given. Where is there? On top of the prices going up of the cylinders. Forget giving free. So definitely, the people's wrath they will have to face. Thanks, Rajan Bhav. Now, talking about cylinders, uh, I remember, uh, Pratima ma'am, you had a major uh, agitation when you were in, in the municipal garden. There was a big, big thing about this cylinder thing. And now, what, what, what do you feel? This budget, uh, this, this session, forget about the budget, this session, how? What See, you as Bhav, uh, Trajan has just mentioned that this BJP uh, party is Jumla Mudho. I would like to say something. I was just observing yesterday. CM Pramod Savantan, I guess two hours, 11 minutes he has spoken on budget yesterday. And in these two 
टू आर्स इलेवन मिनिट्स तो उलता क्या स्वयं पूर्ण कर स्वयं पूर्ण मीन सेल्फ सफिशियंट दौरपे वेर आई वॉज वॉचिंग एंड वेन आई हर्ड अबाउट हिज बजेट टॉक लेट मी टेल यू ग्लेन ऑनेस्टली आई डोट नो वेदर यू ऑल रिमेंबर वेदर क्लेफा कुती नो रिमेंबर जो सामंत और प्राजान और रुजा तुमको खबर आए वेन यू वर किड्स यू नो दे वुड बी वन सीरियल यू नो एंड सीरियल इफ आई एम नॉट मिस्टेकन मुंगेरी लाल के हसीन सपने सो वेन आई वॉज लिस्निंग टू सी एम प्रमोद एस्टडे मुझे लहानपणी जो सीरियल सो लोग टीवी सोलह आसना मुंगेरी लाल के हसीन सपने पोपा देर मुंगेरी वॉज वॉट मुंगेरी लाल इज टू बसन अपने सपन गोत्ता तसली आज ये जाली आज गमत जाली आज प्रमोद सावंत एन वाय आई से देट इफ यू गो टू सी इफ यू ही स्पीक्स बट एक्चुअली इफ यू गो टू सी गोवा इज पुट इन डेप्स आज कि आज बजेटा कहीं ना ये मुंगेरी लाल ट्वेंटी वन थाउजंड नाइन हंड्रेड फोर्टी सीआर्स Which was for 2022 and 23 lo, okay? And is the same debt will be 23 crores nine thousand uh, whatever according to him means Goa has gone totally in debt debts. 23 thousand. 23 thousand crores. So Goa is gone totally in debt. So only that the mining has changed. The mining start got taller. Mining has changed. Only to focus the sopna that guy that. Arey, that je maga jista ye tanche pot borpa ji kama asa. Tu je kore poisha na tu debt ye taani tu sam saajre kor ta koshe events. पोपल फेस्ट के पांच कोट्या एयरपोर्ट मोपा इनोग्रेशन के इतने पैसे तू ट्रेनिंग दिता मुंटा एम एल एक कोट्या दोन तीन कोट्यो पैसे घर तू लग्जरी कास घता मिनिस्टर तू डेथ घता अपने साजरे करता लोक पुरना तुम्हें आता मुझे कैसे सिलिंडर यस सिलिंडर लगन हाँ जी फाटली दा वर्ष यूथ कांग्रेस प्रेजिडेंट जाए महिला प्रेजिडेंट जाए रस्त्या जल्ले सिलिंडर घेल चाव के लोक बजे आवली पुण हे दर एकटे जाए आज बैला खादर कि बजेटान आज वुमन सेफ्टी कहीं ना परिकर फिमेल हू गेट्स रेट शी वील गेट्स ऑन कॉम्पेन्सेशन ऑफ थ्री लैक्स तेजे आवाज ना लगली लक्ष्मी आज थर्टी फर्स्ट मार्च तेने संगे प्रमोद सावंत थर्टी फर्स्ट मार्च सेंशन को लाडली लक्ष्मी तेजे कहीं ना गैस सिलिंडर आज कित पाले एक हजार क्रॉस जाले आ एक सैडीन पेट्रोल कि मारप जाले आसा एसेंशियल कॉमोडिटीज एक डजन तीन घपा गए कॉमन मनशा क्या जाए ये लोक पैसे तू थ्रू टैक्स खाता तू हंगा बजेट अपने ये करता अरे आज सी एम हाँ संगता प्रमोद सावंत पैले तो हम बजेट संगता थर्टी थ्री पर्सेंट कि थर्टी फोर पर्सेंट अपन ये के तो अपन फुलफील के लास्ट इयर्स बजेट लास्ट आज अरे थर्टी फोर पर्सेंट आई थिंक इफ यू गो टू सी एक स्टूडेंट एक हंड्रेड थर्टी फोर पेल्डर फेल वो फेल जो आने के सो आई फील दीस इज अमला एम एज ये फिर डेप्स डेप्स का लोक पोटा पाय दौर अपने सन साजरे कर सरकार बड़े ऑपोजिशन परफॉर्म जाले इश्यू भाई आ चे एम एल ए डिमांड्स फुलफील जाऊनाट पे माइनिंग इनकम माइनिंग स्टार्ट जो इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट एज पर ऑपरेशन ऑल्सो इन्फॉर्मेशन क्या माइनिंग ये के इनलिगल माइनिंग सो आता इनलिगल आ माइनिंग आज लिगल जाए वो इनलिगल आज प्रूफ जाऊना सो ऑन वॉट बेज माइनिंग स्टार्ट जो तेजो रेवेन्यू के संगता प्रमाण मोर देन फिफ्टी पर्संट क्या प्रोमीस के बजेटा के आज फुलफील जाऊना सो हा बजेटा आता कश फुलफील जाते पे खबर ना ऑपरेशन आम ऑफ द रूलिंग खबर ना पे आता आज आज आता ये जो पे भाषे एक आर्ग्युमेंट जाए रूलिंग एंड रूलिंग भर ये कर आर्ग्युमेंट सो जाऊना मोड़ सो आता पोपा जो हे फुड़े आता कश जो नेक्स्ट आयका and go in sequence first of all uh, uh, there can't be denial of the fact that gst compensation of 800 crores which we used to receive every year is oh. not going to be received now to that query cm has replied saying that whatever revenue and he expects 1000 crores 
to come from mining related. 1000 is what? 800 was GST compensation. To compensate that, that is what that is what was expected. But uh, as he says now, uh, EC clearance of mining is not yet come. For EC clearance, there are public hearings which are held, and those hearings are not going to get over within a short period of time. That is going to take a pretty long, long term. At least whatever legal knowledge I have or past experiences that I have, I don't see it happening in one year. So this entire budget session or the period of this budget, I don't see this money coming. So of course it is it, it is always better to be optimistic, but uh, I do not know whether that compensation of 800, but of course it's a small amount. We are talking about 26,000 crore and the revenue deficits of something like 4,183 crore. That means last year, see last year's budget was 22,000 and odd crore. Out of the deficit is 4,180, that means 18,000 we managed to collect. So this collection is proportionately going to increase. Now how much is going to, how much is going to be the shortfall? And can we save some money as far as other places? Because as per government's own figures, about 30% are going only in salary. Yeah. Or, or 28 point something is going only no, no, will increase no, the only <laughs> so, so, so therefore proper <laughs> management on that uh, there are plus points also so oh, lot of <laughs> efficient managing government can curtail expenses by various means it is not just salaries and there are so many things that new pension scheme can save lot of money there are other other benefits also which could be tra transferred to the uh, this without actually uh, charging it on the consolidated so many things could be done now there are other things which are which are of uh, important steps which government has taken one is allocation to the education now this i see yes. something which is positive health now, education much, correct health education infrastructure of course tourism there could have been many more schemes there could have been some incentives because uh, after two years of COVID hit situation, they are also just getting back on the field and uh, they require little more because that's see after mining what is left in Goa where a lot of revenue is coming and because of that hotel industry and other so many other industries which are depending that's tourism. Now that tourism requires helping hand. It requires some sort of whether in license whether it is in licensing policy or infrastructure policy. Or, or other concessions that could be given to tourism. There, I think a lot more could have been done. So, by and large, I see, yes, it's a tough situation where um, central doors are not coming, our mining is not there. So, therefore, under the circumstances, I think this is the best what we could have had. That, that's my analysis. Because you have to see, ground realities we can't ignore. GST compensation, central government has said, no, so as it is, we have given it for a longer period of time. And then you have got it out of turn, that is what the central government stand is. Now, mining has closed and that is closed for various reasons. It has not stopped for so many years. There has been successive governments in between. So, among all this situation, where to generate revenue? I mean, uh, in that, the government has projected 9.71. So, if you consider all this situation, I think uh, the Chief Minister has done a lot of good and balancing act to show a increase of around 9.75% as compared to last year in such circumstances and in such situation, he, uh, he, he deserves some sort of credit. Yeah, thanks uh, Sandar. I don't know, I found the budget pretty good, but I have an issue with revenue. Or and also the budget was for everybody, which is not possible. You cannot please everybody. See, one thing, let me make two points only before Clafat I go to you. Uh, 600 or 700, 800, whatever crores of revenue of mining, to do 600 crores of, of, of revenue, you need to do what? 7, 8,000 crores of business. <laughs> is this going to be possible <laughs> this year? I don't know. Let the people decide. No. Is it going to be possible? No. I don't know. No. It's no. not. No. 600 crores is revenue. You no. need to do 10 times more. 6,000, 7,000, 8,000 crores worth of that is like huge. It is before the boom what we used to do at that time with all the mines operating. I don't know how much more. Second thing, GL, tourism since we brought now the minister is a very good initiative organizing uh, putting to GL you know it's, uh, all these however I have an issue now GL is a government thing but who are they giving the contracts to who are the people working who are who's getting IT according to my sources nobody from uh, Goa none of the IT companies from Goa have been employed given contracts by GL no none of the people have been given none of the 
the most of them are going to outside states. I don't know, be it uh, some of the friendly states. They are going to them. The Why Goans are not capable of standing there in those things, in those things and giving the tickets? Why Goans are not? GL is good, organizing everything, putting everything, but give the contracts to Goans. Be it in Mopa, be it in Skilling, be it in anywhere. First, give them. if the Goans don't want, let us see, no, make it transparent. Then you can give it up. You mean Goans are not capable? They are CEOs in every other country in the world. Yeah? Why can't they do in Goans? Give the Goans a chance. Give them good service. Give them good perks. There will be Goans coming. See, I am sorry. I am in India, no doubt. Proud to be one. But Goans also, no? Goans should uh, do for Goans. What's the point of uh, Goans going to Delhi, Bombay, Bangalore and um, uh, everywhere else? Sorry, Klavakta. I have to put my two bits of things. <laughs> yes, Klavakta. Uh, welcome. Cloud Bob, he was busy in court. Yeah. No, no. See, Mugi uh, this budget or any budgets in the past few years uh, make no sense because uh, we are all living on borrowed amounts. <laughs> yes. We are borrowing, borrowing, and borrowing. We are unable to increase in any way our manufacturing sector. And as long as manufacturing sector can't increase, we will have to depend on borrowings. Yeah. Uh, we are now over dependent on tourism. Uh, someone said there should have been more schemes. According to me, uh, in tourism sector, a lot of unorganized tourism, illegal tourism is there, particularly in the Northern Belt. See, if those homestays, flats on rent, uh, villas given on rent, they are completely in the unorganized sector. The government gets nothing there, absolutely nothing. One, you take the amount of money uh, from consumables that would come, money would, that would come in if these were registered. So according to me, the government has failed there also in putting this industry on track because that's the only industry that is fetching money and if you can have say a good homestay policy whereby people register as homestays today people don't register because of too many bureaucratic hassles what doesn't have homestay policy no no no, central no, 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 no i'm not saying that i'm saying have good policies whereby people come and register their apartments, people come and register their villas and make them part of the Goa tourism policy, which has not happened. So, if we, if we, if we say that, then uh, a huge debt which is coming on us also because of our government, uh, government employee ratio. See, we have to keep in mind one thing. One of the factors for Sri Lanka going down is a high government employee in the, in the administration. Yes. And still we will find thousands are being recruited. See, we are not uh, opposed to people getting employment. But people must get, get employment through a section like the industry. Industry must come up, industry must provide employment. It is not the job of the government to provide employment. Of course, government servant is required, bureaucracy is required. So, I would sub I would say that uh, this is full of fair Like, uh, they have this pilgrim policy. I mean, they are telling us that so many pilgrims went out. Then, let us look at it. Do we require such policies? Do we require this at all? Then, you take the case of managing events. See, Purple Fest Feast was good, but do we require to spend so much money on it? It was a good initiative, good initiative, no doubt about it. But why spend money on these sort of events, whereby you are advertising the government itself? Only what is being advertised is the government. Nothing more than that. I don't think the schemes of the government are getting popular because of these events. So I would say somewhere those areas we have to plug in the the areas where we are spending money. As far as this budget session is concerned, I have a serious issue. Yeah, and that I'll issue the session. and that <laughs> issue is yes. the our number of days 
and working hours are going down. Are going down. See, we had four day budget session. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. It was supposed to be five. Five. No, supposed to be five. Yesterday we did not have. According, no, sorry. According to me, it was designed to have it for four days. They knew that thirtieth would be would be a holiday. That was a public holiday. No, correct. But they decided to have a have a holiday. They said the house was not there, so it was designed to be four days. Last time it was four days. Previous to that it was four days. Oh, what is day? happening? Maybe Our entire the, the house Auspicious. the house is not meeting for more than fifteen days in a year. Yeah. This is just too much. Okay. And keep in mind one thing. According to me, the government somehow I do not know what is. Wrong with the government in having number of days. It looks like they feel that Vijay shines there. Let us Vijay sir, they say shines in the in the assembly. So they do not want him to shine, and hence the number of days done. Otherwise, I can't understand why such less number of days in the house. And the opposition also is not making much noise about it. Much noise about it. No noise at all. No noise at all. One press conference is not. Ah, one one press conference is not not enough. enough. But but I would say that see two three things happen. One is uh, there is no there is hardly any discussion on the budget session. There is hardly any discussion on whatever bills they have brought. This even otherwise, if the if the budget session or any session lengthens, uh, there may be more discussion. But the biggest problem for us is our bureaucracy. Is not in check. As long as the sessions are in are there and long sessions, I would say there is a check on the bureaucracy. bureaucracy. They would be kept on their toes <coughs> if there is a constant budget session because they would not uh, they would not know which member would ask what question. So according to me, this has become a good boom for the bureaucracy. Claudio, I told I agree with you about the bureaucracy because we find see lots of schemes are there. The government see I am not going to blame the politicians in this particular thing. What I am saying, the politicians are doing that, making their promises. Implementation is whose job? A politician. Uh, what uh, a politician knows how to do roads, how to do uh, uh, run the GMC. No, the bureaucrats have to run it. Supervision is pathetic. There is nothing. There is no supervision. You look Punjab smart city only. Four agencies are doing one thing. The top top officials have said that it is going to create a chaos. He is going to do this. Now the mayor and the MLA say they wash their hands of it. Are they? The CCP all money from uh, TCP is coming to CCP. From CCP it is going to smart city. Ask them to deny, no? And he says no, I cannot do anything. So basically the bureaucrats either they are fooling the politicians because the politician knows something, or there is a big. Everything is like pretty. See, they go unquestioned. The bureaucrats go unquestioned. That is the. See, tourism club. Tourism minister says that the Kalakut PI is is allowing all these things. Tourism minister. And uh, what more you want? The chief minister has to go to the uh, the coastal belt and check on spas. On the chief minister has to go. What are the cops doing? What is the DGP? Counter you know, DGP, DIG, IGP, SP. What are they doing? Now, that day the SP said no. If some complaints come, that means they don't know anything. There is no policing on the ground. I am talking about the bureaucracy uh, point of view. Trajan Bab, sorry. Now we are talking about the assembly. Now assembly. Bab, let me tell you about the story. Is the a point. Yeah, yeah, very much point. Okay. He says only four days session, only four days session, and you termed it as a very auspicious figure. <laughs> yeah, looks like. Four, 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 let four, us four, not forget <laughs> that they, they, you have to see the overall picture. It is tapering down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the yeah, parliamentary democracy, democratic system. This time, this time the treasury branches. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. <laughs> the stop, parliamentary stop, democratic stop, system by the. Bazaar Washing Machine Party <laughs> is on its path to totally destroy it. As he just now pointed out, we have never heard that for eight days, ten days, the treasury branches are opposing the whole thing. <laughs> so finally, from top to down, they don't want to be answerable to the people, to the to the to the parliamentarians. And when they are not answerable to the parliamentarians, they are not answerable to the people. Stay forward. Same thing. And you have also already put a video is shining, but that is one part of it. One part of it. The basic is not to be answerable to anybody, and they are not right from top to bottom. This is one part. Number two, 
So, Tarun Bab, I am. Uh, I have to go in for a small break. I'll come back. I'll start with you as soon as we start uh, this. Thing. Now, this has been interesting. It is really not heated up as yet, as yet. But I'm sure in the second segment, it will be a lot hot up because a lot of issues to be to come up and one. Small issue, especially now. Rajan Bab is the national spokesman of the TMC, <laughs> so the opposition has had to make a noise about those four days. Thanks, uh, thanks a lot for this segment, and we will see you on the other side. Keep watching. Go 365.